Hi, it's Wendy at the library. Um, today we'll be making these adorable little bottle penguins. And um, I'll show you right now what you're going to get in your kit. Here we go. You'll be getting a clean, washed and dried water bottle with the cap. Um, you'll get about six or so uh, cotton balls. Oops, and they're different sizes you can sell. Some are small, some are large, but there's a variety. You'll get a piece of black foam with a design outline that you'll be cutting out, so you'll need scissors from home. Um, you'll also get some glue with a little stick to ap apply with it with. Um, some Google eyes, oops, daisy, a couple of elastics, and then either foam or cardstock, orange. This is the feet with the base for underneath on that design and then a little piece that has a triangle for the beak. So to get started you're going to need to cut out this shape out of your foam. It's okay. pretty easy to cut through this foam so that's great. There's like this straight part in the middle here. Um, and that's just, it's another good place for us to be able to glue it onto the bottle. So main, the main parts that show that are important are the two wings. Um, but that other part will be also for, for gluing, it'll be really nice. So I'm gonna set that aside for a second because we are going to stuff our bottle. Now these cotton balls would not fill the whole bottle. So what you have to do, and be patient to do it, whoops, <laughs> is take the cotton balls and start pulling them apart and spreading it and stretching it. And if you see a clump, kind of pull it apart too. It's separating all these different fibers and um, it'll end up being a nice little pile of poof that's a lot bigger than when we were just holding the cotton ball. So there we go, there's one. Just gonna take me a second here to pull them and stretch um, don't just pull it once and say that's done then go back and widen out pull apart pieces if if you see a thick spot just separate it this is going to make it light and fluffy Alrighty. a minute to do this <laughs> and the more you do it I think the better your penguin will look so take your time to really fluff these out if you can and then if you see any thick spots pull them apart All right come back down here and get this thick spot look at this pile of poof that we're making so one more after this. So here we are. Nice. And a little thick there. And then one last one. So we just pull it all apart. There we go. There, so this nice pile. So I'm gonna take my craft stick actually and hold up a piece real gently and start pushing it down and just shove it in there. Don't try to condense it if you can. Just push it in and push it in. And as it falls down, it will eventually just cover up all the spots together. So, whoops, whoops. There we go. There we go. Whoops. When this water bottle is empty, it's pretty light, <laughs> so it tips over pretty easy. So, start shoving. Oops, it's a little bit of sticky on this bottle. <laughs> we'll make sure that that's in the back and it won't show and it won't matter. So, that'll be great. Here we go. We'll stick these down in. Uh, you can see that we're already filling up our bottle pretty good. Um, so, we'll just keep going and that'll make it nice and light so that we have the inside of our penguin all done here. And there we go. 
Awesome. So now remember there was a sticky spot back here on the back. That's what we're going to use for our back. But I'm going to put my cover on. There we go. And I'll just set my bottle aside. And I might as well use the side that I can see some of the lines still. And that's what I'm going to glue. So I want to glue right down the back. And I want to glue down on the um, wings. If you can see on my bottle, there's a little bit of space some places on the wings. It sticks out a little bit, and that's okay. Um, but I am going to get the outside of the wings and a little bit of the middle, and then right down the middle of the back. So take your stick, pull some of your, your glue out, go right down the middle of your back. <laughs> and... I've already used this glue, so I hope I have enough left. There we go. There, and then do the other wing. So, um, there, is there we go, and then we're going to, there we are, just put that little extra glue on there so that it's not a mess. And I'm gonna take the sticky back of my bottle and lay it down. And I'm going to aim more at keeping this level with where the bottle rolls up in. So I'm gonna oops, wrap this wing up and then wrap this wing up. And here is where the elastics are going to come in. You take one elastic, stretch it and put it over the top. Probably what you would think would be chest high for the penguin. And then we're gonna do it again down further on those wings and also in the back there. One on the top and one on the bottom. There we go. So see how that's going to, this is gonna dry all night long. Mine's really secured. It's, um, it dried really well last night. So. so we've got the wings on our penguin. Awesome. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our face and our feet and our beak. So. If you can see the design, it's like got little feet at the bottom that were there. So we're going to go ahead and cut these out. So you will need your scissors from home. And this is almost like the bottle shape. Not perfect, but it's there. Alrighty. There we go. So this will be the same thing with our beak, a little piece of orange. So like I said, some might have a little bit of the thin craft foam, some of the kits might have the cardstock, um, but it still shows up as orange and it looks great. So to put the base on, what I'm going to do is put some glue on the bottom of my bottle. At first I tried to glue my, bot my base and I was never sure where the bottle was hitting, so I'm going to glue mostly in the back, along those bumpy edges, and a little bit to the front. And let's see if I stand it up. There we go. There we are. Woo! I got some on my table. That will wipe up fine, or later on when it's dry, you can roll it up. Um, but you can see how it just hit around and just the feet stick out at the bottom. So now the last thing that we want to do is put a little face on our penguin. So get a little bit more glue. There we go. Going to do a beak. A little glue there and the beak can sit right on the bottom of the water rim. There we go. And then our eyes. Now this is tacky glue. It's pretty thick, so it should hold them um, in place. It's not real runny. Whoops, I gotta get a little more glue. There we go. It's not real runny, so it should hold them on pretty good. There we go. Whoops. A little crooked there, but hey, maybe it gives them character, huh? There we go. So let those dry. And um, you can take off the elastics tomorrow and your little penguin will be done. So, hope you like them. I think they're really cute.
It's a great winter craft, and I hope you have fun. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.